increased tensions between China and the U.S. following the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's possible stop in Taiwan while on a congressional visit to four other Asian countries. Chinese officials have threatened military action if Pelosi visits the island nation that China claims is a part of its territory. Christina Ruffini has the latest from the White House. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. U.S. officials have said, look, there's no reason for China and the U.S. to, quote, come to blows if Pelosi decides to go ahead with her stop on the swing to Asia that's scheduled to start this weekend. However, China might feel differently. Well, I don't ever talk about my travel because, as some of you know, it's a security issue. Asked about her upcoming trip to Asia, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would not confirm reports it will include a stop in Taiwan, where she would be the highest-ranking U.S. official to set foot on the island in more than 25 years. No one should, under, should underestimate the determination and ability of more than 1.4 billion Chinese people to defend its national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Chinese officials have issued stark warnings and threatened a possible military response if Pelosi goes ahead with the visit. Speaking by phone Thursday, President Xi Jinping told President Biden, playing with fire sets yourself on fire, according to a Chinese readout of the call. The uh, increased rhetoric uh, uh, coming out of the Chinese side is, is simply not necessary. The White House says it does not control the speaker's travel and she does not need or seek its approval. Mr. President, do you think it's a good idea for Speaker Pelosi to travel to Taiwan this summer? Well, I, I, I think that the military thinks it's not a good idea right now. But uh, I, I don't know what the status of it is. Taiwan's independence has been a trigger point in U.S.-Chinese relations, with China alleging the self-governing island is part of its territory and the U.S. pledging to help Taiwan defend itself, but not outright supporting its independence. Our policy has not changed. The United States strongly opposes any unilateral efforts to change the status quo or to uh, undermine peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. And Christina, we also know that you've been following the latest on the talks between the U.S. and Russia on a potential prisoner transfer. What can you tell us? That's correct. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, who you just saw there talking about Taiwan, also spoke to his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, this week for the first time since Russia invaded Ukraine. He wouldn't say, however, if that conversation made this deal, which is a proposed prisoner swap, is, is the, what the reporting is on that, any more or less likely. Now there's an additional report that Russia has requested another Russian national be returned in return for uh, Brittany Greiner and Paul Whelan. The issue is this Russian national is not in U.S. custody. They're in German custody. Uh, so an American official called that a bad faith effort not to take the deal that's on the table. Michelle. A lot to be looking at. Christina, thank you.